the May 5th edition of the Packer News. I'm Eric Tulandine. And I am Ahmed Swain. and here's our today's headlines. Are you 14 years old or older and looking to earn a little cash extra this summer? Kylie Services is recruiting seasonal employees to work at a pollution project in mid-July. Details are at the career centers and on the bulletin board outside the career center. Stop by to learn more. A new club hit the hallways of West Fargo High. This club is MIA Club. Here is Ahmed Soyan with more on the story. Mr. Hai addresses what MIA is and what it means to her. MIA means Minority Inclusion Association, and to me, it means. Ayat addresses the reasons behind creating MIA. We saw a problem in our community and in our school, and we saw that there was a lack of inclusion with minority students. And controversial issues can be discussed with teachers around or facilitators that can facilitate an uh, active and uh, progressive discussion. Ahmed Hamza addresses the reasons why he chose the MIA Association over other clubs available. So as being a minority in this school, I can see a lot of things that other people probably can't, such as like um, racism, some sort of, some sorts of discrimination, or some people might be disadvantaged. So creating this association has enabled me to um, give a voice to those people. Mrs. Shannon Morcha describes what success means to her as a club advisor. Natasha and Hayat and Mohammed have really big goals for the club. And so I think success is just, if they feel like they're meeting their goals or they're on their way to their goals, I think as an advisor that's successful and also that they feel proud of the work they've done. Mr. Hawa and Hayat share with us the future of the club in terms of structure. We only started this club the last two months of school. Next year we're all going to be seniors and right now we don't have any sort of leadership in terms of someone as president. Next year we are, we're going to groom some people who do portray leadership roles who are in MI in order to keep the club going after we graduate. Teha shares with us what Mike Knight is and what it accomplishes for the MIA Association. Mike Knight covers the, our main objective which is expression and what it basically does is it encourages students to express themselves in different forms, in forms of poetry, singing, rapping, anything that you're good at. The association would like to have you at their next Mike Knight. Come here to support our Packers. This is Packer correspondent Ahmed Soyan reporting. The MIA club looks like it gives a lot of pretty good opportunities for the school and also our community. Join us for New Neighbor Night on Thursday, May 11th from 5 to 8 at Cheney Middle School. New Neighbor Night is an opportunity to celebrate diversity and educate the public on the district's different cultures. The night will highlight a variety of countries by providing food samples, students at work, informative displays, and demonstrations. There are only a few meetings of gay and uh, straight alliance left in this school year. Come and join us after school today in room 120E. Building Trades is a class in which students are able to grow their interest in the construction field. A few weeks ago, three students got to take part in a North Dakota skills competition. Here's Ethan Nebo with more on the story. To the 11th, three students in Building Trades placed for Carpentry in the North Dakota skills competition. <laughs> Senior Ethan Klein, who plays First in Carpentry is looking forward to competing in nationals. We go for certain things that we think could be added to the competition. In the past years, there's been steel studs that have been used, so we'll go over how to use steel studs. They've also had people do hip-style roofs that we'll have to go through and study how to do them properly. Senior Caden Wise talked about some of the other events that took place at the competition. Just sets you a path, I guess, really. Like, you want to go to Nationals because that's where you get most of your scholarship money or maybe a full ride to what you want to do. And with Building Trades, it's a good program to practice, understand some of the lessons. Senior Eric Vallejo explains what motivates him with these competitions. Well, you couldn't compete again, but if I could, uh, my main drive to be competing would probably be uh, the scholarships because there's a lot of scholarship uh, money that they gave out the previous year. There's something like 15000 between the first and second place. The National Skills Competition will be taking place this summer in Louisville, Kentucky.
from Packing News, this is Eden Neva reporting. Anyone that will be in the chorus next year is welcome to attention for the 2017-2018 Madagascar Singers Editions and are being hauled this week. See Mr. Miller for more information. There will be a boys soccer meeting at 3.30 in room 112C by the theater. We will be discussing the upcoming season next fall. Please plan on attending and share it with anyone uh, that's interested in joining. On Thursday, May 18th, the Literary uh, Magazine and Ex-Premier and MIA will be hosting on Open Mic Night at 6 p.m. If you have an, uh, any poetry, short stories, or songs that you would like to perform, uh, sign up on in 206H, Mrs. Hale Room for the event. This uh, will be a celebration of creativity, talent at Tos Fargo High School. We hope to see you there. Thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. I'm Eric Tulandine. And I'm Mohamed Soyan. Have a great weekend, Wes Fargo.